this has been such a long journey to get Alita yeah. to the big screen. What does this moment feel like? And can you talk a little bit about what that journey was? You know, it's been a long time in development, uh, tw 20 years. But from the time Robert and I, you know, said, let's do this and shook hands on that, it's only been three years. It went very fast. And obviously there's a lot of technical development and so on, but it all happened in a kind of a whirlwind because he's a shooter. He makes things happen. Yeah. You know, built the set on his back lot down there in, in Austin where they where they shot the film. And he just knew what, what to do. And it was like a whirlwind. So it was great. Why was Robert the, the perfect person to kind of take on those reins? Well, I think for one, we'd been friends for a long time and we've been looking for something to do. Second, I knew he had this, he, he's able to access a childlike sensibility, which I think, and you see that. You see that when you when you go you go into the film through the eyes of this young girl. She's, you know, an, an adolescent seeing the world for the first time, and he's able to do that. He's got children himself. He likes to make kids movies, but he also likes to make the opposite end of the spectrum, very rough, hard edged, you know, kind of grown up action films. So Alita's kind of right in the middle there. It's got its tough moments, it's got its hard-edged action, but it's also got this soft kind of wondrous center to it. Yeah, it's such a spectacle, meant to be seen on the biggest screen I possible. couldn't agree more. <laughs> see it on the big screen, see it in 3D if you can, see it in IMAX, see it in Dolby Vision. Those are the theaters to look for, but if you, but if you can't find one of those, see it in 3D if you can. It's a spectacular presentation. Now, you're also hard at work on those Avatar sequels. Yeah. Um, a couple months ago, there was a leak, I'm putting this in quotes because I'm not sure, of possible Avatar titles. Yeah. Are those legit? I can neither confirm nor deny. i got to take something back to the presses. All right, here's, here's what I'll tell you. Those titles are amongst the titles that were in consideration, and no final decisions have been made yet. Okay. And you How are is that for a vague, <laughs> a vague but authentic? You know what? It was authentic. I thought it, was, it, was, it was dripping with sincerity yeah. and accurate. I think you've done interviews before. You're pretty good at it. <laughs> it has the added benefit of being true. Yeah. Um, you are also overseeing the Terminator reboot, I believe. Um, can you tell me about anything about where we're picking things up with Sarah Connor? Well, Sarah's back, and, and you know Linda Hamilton's back. So it's the legit character that you remember just you know years later, and uh, she's back to do battle. That's all I can say about that. All right. Thank you so much. Pleasure to talk to you. Okay.